so Joe makes this big romantic gesture and you, and you come around. Well, you, you force the question out of him because yeah. he's, he's kind of given up. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, I think it's just like the journey of the two up there. I think that's what's really interesting about the episode that we've just watched. It, it's um, surprising the difference half an hour can make. Yeah, I think she just gets to that point where she's like, ask me now, ask me again, and let's just do it. Um, a little bit of the old Mercedes comes out. Instead of like thinking it through or I'm not sure if this is for me, she just goes, what the hell, let's go for it. And I like that. Yeah, and obviously you say yes. Yes. So it's yes. very, very romantic. Yeah, it is. Um, but it all goes very wrong. Very wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's a disaster befalls Joe. It Can't is, yeah. I, I think the way that the episode um, sort of pans out as well, they, they have the big stunt in the maze and you think it's all done. So it's all like calms down a bit. They're just having a nice time up there, just waiting to get rescued. And I didn't realise it happened like that because i never seen any of the maze stuff getting filmed. Um, it was on separate nights to ours. So to see that and then just have our moment, our stunt at the end, I was like... <gasps> It took my breath away and I kind of knew what was coming, so I think the audience are just going to love it. Yeah. So you, that was you really up there in the cherry yeah, picker? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And actually, even though the cherry picker were a little bit swingier, I felt more stable on that than the old Ferris wheel, <laughs> who just like kept me on the swingy cherry picker. So um, is, is Aidan actually really um, doing that stunt? Yes, I, I was so proud of him. Um, he had all the wires on just in case, but regardless of that, that jump that you see him do, he did that. I was just like, because I had to like climb over him going, well done, well done, Jen. I'm like, gladly, I've got um, a fire guy there and he's helping me and I am cabled up. But Aidan actually did that jump and I was just like, well done, you. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Especially with his um, fear of heights. Exactly. He, he did brilliantly. I, I, and he kept on going, move it further away. He almost preferred it to be further away. So we had like, he said, when it's closer, it's like a bit scarier. And it, it was miles away. It was about, I think, about three metres away. And he just jumped. Yeah. Brilliant. One take. Yeah. <laughs> don't, um, want it, don't want to get No, it wasn't one take. Oh. We were there all night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, jump better. Just oh. jump. Yeah. <laughs> By the end of it, when we were tired and everyone's eating Domino's pizzas at the bottom. Oh, is he still up there? Yes, we're still up there. Yeah, yeah. You've got terrible, tragic luck with, uh, with men. This yeah. is another one you've clocked up. What is it? What, what's, what's... I, I think it's just her and I wouldn't have her any other way. Um, I love it. I'd, I'd love her to get married another ten times. I'd love it all to fail. I'd love her to pick herself up again and just carry on. Um, I think she's a very independent woman. Um, she works well on her own. Um, but also she's just desperate for this love as well. I'd love to see, uh, like I said, get married lots more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you also mentioned in the press conference that um, you'd like to see a bit of the old Mercedes come back. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, I love Mercedes when she's at a bitchy, feisty, sassy best. For me, when I pick up um, a script, that just screams Mercedes McQueen and I, and I do a full day of that sort of material. I come away buzzing, I come away feeling excited, I come away feeling like I love my job and, and that's what it's all about. Right, okay, and you leave all that kind of, all yeah. those dark emotions on yeah. set. Yeah, but so then at the same time, like when I had my stillbirth storyline, I mean, that's that's completely different end of the spectrum. Um, it was so difficult to film, but probably the most rewarding storyline I've had to date. I had to really dig deep and find something that that I've never experienced, so I had to just find something. Um, so that's a different type of being proud of yourself, um, but equally, both was rewarding. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I can't cry like that because I've just run dry. Um, get the feisty stuff. <laughs>